What's up everyone, it's Arnold here. If you're like me, you've been seeing the drama between Wall Street and Reddit lately. And this is because a bunch of Redditors have essentially taken it upon themselves and become a real life Robin Hood. They took money from the rich. They caused the stock of GameStop uh, to go up by over 2000% just in 2021. And this is all done through a short squeeze. Now you might have seen these terms before in the news, short selling, short squeezes. So today we're gonna take a moment to explain all of that, give you an example to illustrate it and connect it all back to Reddit, to GameStop and to hedge funds. So let's get started. So what is short selling? Short selling is an investment strategy that speculates that the price of a stock will go down. So you win if a stock goes down and you lose if a stock goes up. Now you would do these to stocks that you think will be going down in the future because of one reason or another. Maybe you think their business is not doing well or you just don't really like the stock. So what happens is that you borrow shares, you sell them immediately for the market price and then you buy them back when it goes down, hopefully, and then you would profit the difference when you return the shares to who you've originally borrowed it from. Now an important concept here is expiry dates. You have to do all of this by a certain date. So let's use an example. Let's say you're in grade five again and you're buying and selling Pokemon cards. Now you know this particular card, let's say it's a Charizard, and you think that it'll be going down in value in 10 days. So you borrow 10 Charizards from your friend and you sell them immediately for market price. Let's say they are worth $2 each, so you sold 10 of them for $20. So there are two outcomes here. The first outcome is that the price of Charizard goes down. Let's say in this scenario, they're worth $1. So you buy them back for $1, 10 cards, so $10 you buy them back for. You then return these cards that you bought back to your friend, right? And because you sold them originally for $20 and you bought them back for $10, that difference, that difference of $10 is the profit that you make. Now, on the other hand, the second outcome is that let's say the price of Charizard actually went up to $3. Now, by the expiry date, you have to repurchase them back from the market for the market price. So you buy 10 cards for $3 each, so it's $30. Now you return those 10 cards to your friend, but you actually lost $10 because you sold them originally for $20 and you bought them back for $30. So there's a net loss of $10. So this is short selling in a nutshell. You borrow Pokemon cards, you sell them, and then you rebuy them back when they go down in value or you rebuy them back when they go up in value. Except in the real world, they're not Pokemon cards, they're stocks of uh, you know, Tesla or Apple, uh, Square, and in this case, GameStop. But there is a third outcome, and this is called a short squeeze. Let's say in the Pokemon example, a friend of yours overheard that you're doing this buying and selling. So what they decided to do is to buy all the Charizards in the market such that you can't buy any more Charizards when it's time to repurchase them back. So by the expiry date, when you have to return the Charizard cards back to your friend, you panic. You buy them up at whatever price you could. Generally, this means that the price will go up and this will be higher and higher the more short sellers there are on the market. So it's a sort of a feedback cycle. You try to buy up these shares and it drives up the price. Technically, the price could go up to infinity. These Charizard cards could worth up to infinity. So you could lose an infinite amount of money, technically, but it's generally not the case. So this is what happens with GameStop. There's a bunch of short sellers on the market and these are hedge funds that short in GameStop because these smart money institutions think GameStop isn't worth as much as it is, so they shorted the stock. Reddit has decided to short squeeze uh, GameStop stock. They bought up all of the available stock on the market such that when the short sellers need to cover their losses, they're buying them back at whatever price they could get it for. Generally, this means the price will go up and up and up. So this is why the price of GameStop has gone up by over 2000% just in this year. So these Redditors on Wall Street Bet said, hey, let's stick it to the man, buy as many GameStop stocks as possible and drive up the price decreasing supply of the available stock of GameStop on the stock market and cause these hedge funds and short sellers to buy them back at whatever price they could get it for, generally at a higher price. So hope this provided more clarity on what's going on in the market, all the drama that's going on on CNBC and on the news. Hope you learned something today. Hope you can take it back to your family and friends and impress them with the knowledge that you've gained in this video. So with that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and like this video if you like this content. See you in the next video.